Hey there everyone, this is Eric at EGM, and today we are taking a look at some new footage from Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. This is of course uh, the version of Dark Souls 2 that's coming to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Now, Dark Souls 2 is kind of a strange game for me. Um, you know, if I compare it to a lot of other third-person adventure action RPGs out there, I definitely still prefer what from created in this game, but if you compare it to the original Dark Souls, I was I was legitimately disappointed in, in some ways. Um, most notably, the world design, you know, the overall atmosphere in certain regards, uh, just the area connectivity, which I felt wasn't as strong in this first game. So one of the things I'm looking forward to, that we're kind of getting a little bit of a look here, is is how do these areas feel, you know, with, with better textures, uh, higher resolution, um, you know what I mean, because they're not going to really go through and, and do a lot of changes to it, as you can see, but will that, will that prettier looking version of those, these, these areas, you know, uh, make me more excited for them? I don't know. And then, of course, this is interesting because one of the big controversies for the Dark Souls 2 when it came out was that the lighting engine was nowhere near as dramatic as what we had been originally promised. <clears throat> um, I was at Tokyo Game Show a little while before Dark Souls 2 officially hit, and I got to play this exact area right here, and when we played it in the, the build that we were playing, it was completely dark, and you, you couldn't see anything, and you could not explore this area without lighting the torches. That was a... a, a big factor of it and the lighting was very dramatic in terms of shadows and how your torches you know lit up rooms and things and then when the final version came out the lighting version the lighting engine was nowhere near as 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 extreme and you could actually get through sections of this like sections like this without needing the torches so i'm curious because looking at this video you know it, it's going to be another thing at this point where we don't want to trust it until we actually get in our hands because we were kind of burned a little bit, uh, no pun intended, with the first release of Dark Souls. So I want to be careful, but it does look like here that the shadows have have more depth and more darkness to them compared to what we had before. So you know, I I I was a little bit mixed on Dark Souls 2 in terms of just as a Souls game, but I really am looking forward to playing it again on on PS4 and Xbox One going back to it and kind of seeing if my opinions have changed at all or not. So we'll see. 